Belinda here, welcome back. Um, my first apology is <laughs> maybe, hopefully, I've only got one. Um, you'll hear a humming or a drone sound in the background. I do apologize for that. That is my fish tank pump. Um, I can't really put it off because uh, I have little baby fish that need it. So I'll more than likely put some music on um, just so you don't get a little bit bored with the noise, the sound in the background. Um, right, so I am currently just putting down white because my white that I'm going to be using is pretty thin. It's incredibly thin. So um just a thin layer of just titanium white and sponging it on and this is a 10 by 20 inch canvas I'll give it some full coverage and guys if you've landed on my on my video and um, you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers and um, hopefully you can do that pretty soon right so just leveling that out so I do appreciate everybody who does watch and comment um, you know giving it a thumbs up as well all that is so helpful for my channel and I do appreciate that thanks guys okay that should be enough um, let's see so I'm going to be using a ball today or maybe two <coughs> so I have two different sizes here so I have like you know the one I've used on my previous video and this one here, <laughs> give them a shake and they, they glow. I don't know about that one. I think this one's a bit faulty actually. But anyway, that's what I will be using. Now my white, as I said, it's extremely thin. So it just drizzles right off. I don't have a lot of that. I'm going to spread that around and hopefully it's thin enough so I don't want a lot of paint on my base that's the, the um, my idea anyway so let's just get that moving I think um, with this that I'm going to do it pretty much needs to be very thin on the base so all my paints are mixed one part paint to two parts of Floetrol and um, you know where I need to you just add a little bit of water for consistency so I haven't added much water in my colors because I want to keep them quite thick for this and uh, my white I have mixed quite a bit of water so it's the same ratio plus water and um, I've used some house paint so that's just the, the white gloss house paint so hopefully we'll get some cell action. I do see some little random things in here. I need to get rid of that quick, quick. Super fast. I 
Let's put some more white down. So I might, uh, let's see, I might just uh, need to spread that over the edges like that. My paint has been sitting for a while so you know when it's sitting like that you can expect to find a couple of little randoms lumps and bumps yeah I think it's actually more coming from my stick my stirrer Okay, <clears throat> let's get set over the edge. And I'll give that a tilt. Let's just get that all even. piece of plastic here All right, that's better and here I'm going to put my paint down All right. layering my paint now what colors do I want first I'm gonna go with pink uh, yellow so all my colors my paints everything is listed in the description below if you click on the title or you click on the little drop down arrow on the corner, you'll see the drop down, you know, it'll, it'll open up or expand the um, description. Okay. Um, then I'm going to go in with the blue. So I'll try to separate the blue from the yellow. I don't want too much green, although green will be good. Right. Let's go in with the big ball first. So I'm just going to roll my ball through the colors. I must say, this ball actually gives great designs. And let's just hope it works. Now I've got to be really careful because I don't want mud. Okay, let's try this.
really getting what I'm after. I do love this six on here. So I'm thinking I'm going to take, I'm going to lift some of that and put it on there and then do it. <laughs> There's some really, really beautiful designs there. Okay. Oops. How did that even happen? And let's see how that works. Being very careful not to get mud, guys. So we'll try this one first. See if it works. So I reckon I'm going to go right here into the centre. Now that is looking way better. Okay, I'm just giving this a, this ball a whack, just dabbing it. <laughs> it's squeaky, it makes a noise. Okay, so now I'll do another one, maybe there. These colours are absolutely amazing together. Really beautiful. Okay, um, I'll go with a smaller ball, I think, or no, hang on, we'll use a bigger one for now. That is so pretty. <clears throat> You'll have to wait until I come show you a close-up. Put some more there. Oh. 
and I'm going to use the smaller ball here These balls are weighted, so you do have, well, just a bit. They are weighted just a bit. Alright, I don't really want to go too much further with that one because these are very covered in white. Do another little one here. And then I'm going to do one more just to balance out the numbers. Okay, with that one there, I'm going to add, let's see, add some more blue. A bit of purple. And a bit of pink. Let's see how that goes. Now that I've added other colours. That is really pretty. All right, so the next step, I'm going to swipe a bit. So I have two cards, and I'm just going to put it in to the existing paint that's left over. Oh, those cells. Look at those cells coming up. Let's go in here. That's very pretty, guys. All 
Alright. Now I'll grab my other card. And then I'm going to give these some petals. So I'm just randomly, I'm just taking colours off here. You know, they're there, I might as well use them. And they, if you stick, you stay away from the muddy areas, you'll be all good. And uh, let's see. Yeah, guys, this is, um, <laughs> it's very different, but it is pretty. Yeah, I think I need to have one that's going like a dividing line. So yeah, maybe from here. I don't want to make it too busy. Yep, that's um, quite pretty. I'm going to give that a torch and then I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up. Alright, guys, this is it. I know it's different and unique. I do love these flowery things. And those are like super cool. And excuse the studio light. It's um, autumn here, so it's getting pretty um, dark and cold and miserable. So I think that these actually look like, um, are they chrysanthemums? Not not a hundred percent sure, let me know. I think these these patterns here on the sides are just so nice and so different. I will put the light off in a minute and then um hopefully you'll get to see more. Okay, so we'll start up here. It's so cool the way this ball makes these different designs. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.